Hello everybody, Admiral Kroll reporting for duty. Today we're playing on a these games PvE community server for Conan Exiles. A lot has happened with the new update and after our last video I decided to start our adventures fresh. So first thing we're going to do to get underway is we're going to start gathering up tons and tons of plant fibers. We're going to gather rocks, we're going to gather sticks, and we're going to get ourselves outfitted properly and continue our adventures. We're going to enslave, we're going to explore, and we're going to conquer this land in true Conan fashion. Alright, so first level, hooray! Take encumbrance and vitality. Those are the two things I always start out with. We're going to go into our feet screen. We're going to grab apprentice craftsman. So now we can we can make an axe, bed rolls. Your first few hours in Conan can be a little trying if you're not if you're new to the to the survival bat demon. So here we come down into the newbie newbie river area <laughs> is it so so aptly called uh, been gathering up some rocks and plant fibers to make some of our initial equipment what about that can I get yep there we go all right so let's see what we have here uh, so start getting our our armor, our beginning clothes crafted up. We got a. Oh, we don't have enough sticks. Alright, so we're gonna need sticks and tons more of plant fibers and something to drink, apparently. I must have missed the water skin in the beginning. That's okay. We'll come down here, and we'll get something to drink. So, because we missed that water skin in the beginning. <coughs> oh, crap. Stamina, stamina. That shellback's gonna want a piece now. No? Alright. Got another level. More weight, more vitality. for the source. We're going to wait on that. It can be rather trying when you're first starting out. But as, as in any other survival game, um, do expect to meet your demise because we all die. Some more than others. And as you'll see, I can bite the big one a lot. Um, I'm like fighting this guy, I don't even know if that was a smart idea. Especially if you got more imps. Yeah, we're just gonna run. Knowing when to run is a good, <laughs> good survival trait. Run away! Run away, run away! Don't meet your demise if you don't have to. This guy's following us now, oh my gosh. And with purpose, so we're just gonna cross the water here, see if we can't lose him. Oh good. Alright, so we still need some more sticks. 
back over here. We're gonna get a hatchet made. We're gonna get an axe made. And... Alright, come on, Mr. Bad Boy. And we're just gonna hang out in this area, uh, getting all the, the decent things to ensure better survival. Uh, we might build a little structure down here just to have a, a place to retreat to and maybe to store some stuff at before the beginning. Alright, here in a minute I'm gonna open up our map and I'm gonna kinda go over uh, my plan for Conan here. Yeah, we're gonna climb up this rock here. Good lord. I almost got eaten. Oh, don't, don't fall, don't fall, don't. Huh. That was unfortunate. I thought I could make it up there. I fell to my death and my body got eaten by the crocodile. That's awesome. Alright, so now we know you can't climb very far early on. Um, climbing takes a lot of stamina. And I didn't quite know how bad that stamina burn would be. So let's climb this rock wall and have a safe place to stand for a second. Open up our map and go over our plan for Conan Exiles. Alright, so as you can see the map has gotten pretty big with the last update adding this green lush area right through here we have a snowy frozen area right up here I am personally thinking that I want to build our primary primary base in this lake area here or this area right here in the middle depends on land availability and geography so that's the first long-term goal is to get up to that area and start construction of a solid, like, real base, for lack of better words. Um, so we're gonna keep that in mind with our progress. That is our goal. To get up to that northern part and start our main primary base. Uh, like I was stating earlier, we're probably gonna build a very small structure down here for the time being um, <clears throat> just to make sure we can get ourselves outfitted for that journey northward so gathering up some food and whatnots making sure that we have plenty to eat Plenty to drink. Alright, so what do we got here? We've got... 
So let's craft the axe. Let's find some more sticks. So we can craft our pickaxe. do it all right so we got a sticks or we got sticks for our pickaxe which is crafting up here rawhide bed ball three hides that's probably a cheaper way to go all right so that's next on our on our mission of things is to get some rawhide or some leather to make rawhide bed rolls. There's lots of dangerous stuff around here. Alright, so I do know that there's a cave. Um, ah! No, we're not we're not doing it. We're not tangling with that guy. We're gonna rob these eggs real quick though. Because, ow, 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 run, ow, run. Yeah no, run. Just run. Don't <laughs> I am not tangling with a train of beasts looking to eat me, not tangling with it. Alright, so there's the Sentinels. We've discovered the Sentinels. That's also a new mechanic they added, and I really, really like it. Area, there are areas of the map, um, like as we came in, we unlocked the broken highway, or discovered the broken highway. And now we just discovered the Sentinels. The map has lots of different zones and areas as you discover them. And I think you get a little XP bonus for that. At least that was my understanding. Um, so yeah, they, they want, they've made exploration worthwhile to your everyday person. There's a crocodile over there. That's not going to be a good spot all right so trying to let's see here vitality recipes sort there we go bang all right so now we're gonna we need 10 all right so let's craft 10 twine up we're gonna make our sword real quick and see if we can't get some bedrolls made Order of operation. Alright, sword. Oh, we need 20 stone, so let's get that real quick. Got some rock right here. Alright. Let's craft our sword up. got a sword. Now we were more than capable of defending ourselves against these beginning minions and miscreants. Except for the crocodile. I'm really not not feeling mess about that crocodile with an iron sword. That sounds like it would be a very bad idea. Oh, really? Speak of the devil. <laughs> And he's still, we're just going to keep running. I suddenly feel very afraid. Alright, so we got some hyenas. We're going to take these guys out. Awesome, we got 
had enough for uh, uh, our first rawhide bedroll, so let's craft that up. And the hyena head, uh, we're just gonna drop that right now. We are not in a position to make any use of that. And then we can always get more later. All right, so we're gonna build. We're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna build a little hut right here on the beach. Um, just to have a little place that we can fall back to. Should we need it. Alright, so let's start with, no, we're gonna save that actually. Let's start with, okay, so foundations. Foundations, we're gonna need stone and wood. Let's take a look um, and get some HPs going, a little bit of weight. Alright, so we got, holy cow, we got five points available, I didn't realize that. Alright, so we're going to take the building parts, we're going to take the chest, we're going to take survival, experienced survivalist, um, and we're going to take stone dagger. Stone dagger is going to help get with gathering of heights. Alright, so now we've done that, let's go ahead and let's get ourselves some stone and some wood and get ourselves a little structure made. There's a bunch of tiny little things that I really enjoy about Conan Exiles, and one of them is the breaking of the rocks as you mine them. <clears throat> just gives me just a nice little touch that's visually appealing to me. Probably gonna build a two, uh, three, three by three foundation, just to have a small little area. All right, so let's get those going. So we need, we need um, wood. Yes, we need wood. Let's chop some trees. takes five wood per, so probably almost there to get it. Get going. Alright, so let's see. How many foundations? Oh, oh, see, that's something you're gonna have to keep an eye on. Just, oh, you always gotta keep an eye on your surroundings, because something is gonna want to come up and get a piece of you. Especially the further north you get. Oh, um, that's the experience. I had last time I played before we wiped the server for the Frozen North update. The further north you get, the more the things want a piece of you. So if the trend has continued with the new expansion area, oh, that really worries me. That really worries me. Alright, so that being said, we will tackle that bridge when we get there. Alright, we got perfect. We got enough for four foundations. But we're going to need five more. Yeah, we're going to need five more. So, looks like we're going to need more stone. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to gather these up. And I'm going to get these parts made. And start construction. And we'll be right back. All right, and we're back. I've got all the most of the parts built that we need, uh, and we're gonna put our little hut right here on the beachfront. Uh, if you hold shift, 
use your mouse wheel, you can raise and lower your foundation. Um, I don't like grass peeking into my house, so we will raise these up. We might have to use to make some stairs. Um, and if you don't use, don't hold shift and turn your mouse wheel, you can rotate it so you can get some really nice placement. Um, so yeah, I don't like grass peeking in my house, so we're going to raise that up a little bit. Um, come on. Oh, we might have to get up here. Space is currently out. What? Oh, I want to... Okay. There. Why was that so hard? I... Oh, crap. What's that all about? <coughs> Just silly. It definitely does get a little hinky sometimes, so we'll have to build one more real quick. There we are. Alright. We've got our first foundation. It's just being a little weird for me today. There we go. Making some progress. Getting some feel good happening. Continue around the outer edge. Actually, shoot, right, I forgot. That's okay, that's okay. I only had enough parts for a too wide structure. I was gonna put a porch on here, so we'll have to do a little bit of... Yeah, that's what I was gonna... Alright, so now we need what? Oh, let's break let's break some of this down and even my first structure has to be a little nice looking. I don't I just don't like building um ugly stuff. I'm really not a fan of it. Actually, we're going to save that one because we're going to put window walls up there. Alright, so let's pull this other peak piece down. Get these guys put up. Alright, cool deal. So we're gonna have a little bit of a porch with this. Wow. I just yeah, that's just yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway. Um well, you need some more wood and some more stone, so we're gonna gather up this stuff real quick. Um Yeah, I don't like building boxes, I don't like building I don't like building anything that, even if it's temporary, I just don't like building ugly stuff. It's gotta be, it's gotta be pleasing. Have you ever done that? Ever been wandering around doing your thing, whether you're farming supplies or uh, killing animals or, you know, whatever. And cruise by somebody's somebody's little hut, little base, and think, God, it's just a box that's ugly. I don't like doing that. I don't want to be that guy. So I put a lot of hours into building because I want it to look nice. I want people to look at my structures and think, God, that's cool. Why didn't I think of that? 
On smaller structures, it's a little harder. It's a little harder to achieve that because it's small. You don't have a lot of pieces in put into it. Um, so there's there's some geometry that's really kind of limited with that. Uh, but as things get bigger, there's more opportunities. Like this guy right here. This is also part of Clan of the Dogs. Very cool tower structure. Um, and that's how what I think when I look at that. It's like, God, why didn't I think that? Because I've been through this area so many times um, in my various adventures here in Conan. So that's kind of... And it looks like he's trying to set this up for his permanent place. Um, we are not, however. Alright, so we got two more window walls. We got our doorway and our door. Alright, now what do we need for a roof for this bad boy? sticks and we might oh we're one short well let's get these five going and looks like we're gonna need a few more plant fibers maybe and we might be good Let's see here. Alright, excellent. There we go. That'll give us six, right? Yep. Alright, so let's let's get our roof on here. Alright, there's the front side. There we have it, folks. We have a basic little hut that we can put ourselves in for shelter. So let's go ahead and we'll get our bedroll down here. Uh, I do believe this is only a single-use item. So if we ever die and we spawn here, we'll have to have some more handy to put back down. Until we get a regular bed. Um, regular beds work the same way except for they're just they're a permanent fixture so I'm really excited for that right out the gate all right do we have what we need for boxes maybe get a couple of boxes in here before we call it a day um, we just need 14 twine do we have any twine here no we don't but we will only have enough for nine six six right we only got enough for six. All right, so let's let's do that too. Let's get a box in here real quick, so we have a place to store stuff. I'd like to say one single aspect was the most important thing about Conan Exiles, but that's just not the case. Everything is important in some way, shape, or form. Um, storage and workspace and thrall space and just all kinds of stuff matters so much um, do we have any food no we don't have enough any food all right so instead of no nope, we're gonna build a craft we're gonna build a a fire and a box that's what we're gonna do Nine and seven. How many twine is that going to give us? Thirteen. 
for one shy. We just need to get a few more plant fibers. There we are. That should do it. Yep. Alright, so we got a fireplace and we got a box. Alright, so let's go back over to our little house. We'll come inside. We're going to put our box on the inside, but I think we're going to put our fireplace on the outside. Alright, so we're going to put our box... Actually, we're going to set it this way, I think. Alright, there's our wooden box. And we're going to put our fireplace, or our campfire rather, right outside this window here right there all right folks there we are we have all the stuff that a basic survivor needs in Conan Exiles we have our house we have a bedroll and a storage box and a campfire for cooking food you're always gonna need to carry food with you I highly encourage you to make water skins because you're always gonna need to carry water with you and that is not always readily available um, materials for a campfire usually are pretty easy to gather up so food's definitely easier than water uh, if you liked the video press this press the thumbs up button down below and feel free to subscribe for more games this is admiral kroll signing off we'll see you next time